Hey guys, this is Kaijin Hunter. In this video, I just want to give you a quick tip on how to edit auto shoutouts and also point out something that I myself did not know for a very long time until recently, which is that there are some more options for auto shoutouts than even I was aware of. Um, and one of them in particular is really nice. So editing auto shoutouts, the menu is really confusing. Um, so what you want to do is press the minus button on your controller and you'll get all of these uh, different uh, custom shoutouts, stickers and gestures, which you can uh, filter through using ZR. Um, but what you wanna do is press X. It says uh, edit shoutouts. The thing that is confusing is that it doesn't look like the screen changes, right? So you hit X and it looks like the same screen, right? They didn't change it too much. And then they got stuff on here that says something like switch, ignore that. Um, so what you wanna do now is custom shoutouts if you wanna do it. Um, you can make some, um, but basically what most people want to do um, is edit stickers. So if you ZR over twice, you'll get the stickers and you'll see I've done a few already myself here. And we can then press A. It'll bring us into the keyboard. We can write our message. It's not a lot of spaces, so it's a little hard to work with. Press the start button to accept it. Here we go. Now the thing that's really confusing is, is that now it looks like you can just press A and you can start using it. But if you press A, it brings you back to the editing screen. It gets very <laughs> confusing. Um, so what you wanna do is this is still the edit screen. Um, so at this point you have to press B to go back and now we're back into the regular menu and B to get out. Now when we go over to our stickers, if we find the one that we just edited, let's find it. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> and you can now assign that to a radio menu or if you want, what's really nice is when you're hunting, if there's only like five or six that you use in general, when you press a uh, minus, they'll just pop up uh, the recent stickers, which is really nice. Uh, so you can utilize them. Uh, I am using a Japanese language uh, region and I think that's what gives me access to the Japanese keyboard. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some online resources if you want to look into that, but that's not what I'm going to be covering in this video. Now, the thing that I wanted to share today um, is when you press the minus button and then you go over to edits, press X, and you go to these auto shoutouts. It looks like it's just like two pages of different stuff, right? What the game doesn't really communicate, and I think this is awesome, is that you can go over to speech timing and press A and it gives you actually more choices than the game has already prepared. Um, so there are different um, shout outs that you can customize and there's one in particular which is very useful. So you got stuff like when you faint, when people are fainting, when riding a monster, uh, quest starts completed, giving items, receiving items, taking a picture. <laughs> I don't know why that uh, is there, but that's funny. Aiming the camera, I wouldn't recommend that. I can imagine that would make auto messages pop out all the time. This one right here, when a monster is limping. So what this does is, you know how on the upper right hand corner, when a monster is at 20% or less health um, and can be captured, you get that blue icon, right? Well, sometimes people don't notice that. Or maybe if you have a capture cat, which no one really brings these days, um, it has a message that lets you know. So this will be a shout out that your hunter will give the second the monster is limping, like it's weak, it's, it can be captured or it's the last, you know, the last, uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Uh, the final stand, <laughs> something like that. Um, so this is a really nice way to understand um, when a monster can be captured and also just, you know, letting people know uh, that it's almost dead. Uh, for example, elder dragons that cannot be captured, their blue icon won't appear until they're at 10% health. So if you have this on, um, then, you'll have this triggered at the last 10% for someone like Narwa. Uh, but this is a very cool shout out. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, but there's also some other stuff as well in here. Some really funny ones like placing a toad. <laughs> uh, activating a fence. This one I like a lot when the counter gong sounds. Um, just trying to let people know. You, you can have a lot of fun with this one when firing a Dragonator or splitting Wyvern shot. Um, so there's a bunch of different choices in here. So definitely uh, have fun with them. The ones that I've used right now is, uh, where is it? 
<laughs> when a teammate f uh, faints, I use arara. Ara. Um, so yeah, when the counter gong sounds, I have a message saying, use your weapon. <laughs> like, get off the installations. Or when a monster is limping, I have almost dead, and in Japanese I have, it's the final push, as we like to call it. Or when a teammate rides a monster, jealous scoff. <laughs> So these are really cool. Uh, so play around with them, but definitely the, when the monster is limping. Let me show you what that looks like, and then I'll end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tip. I find it uh, interesting. Shout out to everybody in the community that's helping sharing uh, this knowledge. And until next time, happy auto shout outing. Okay.